Right before I drive away to forget Why do I give a damn at everything we set up? G'day guys, Chaos Chronicles. Well, we are back with another video and I'm going to answer another question. And um, so the question is, how do the example POWs get the young people to turn them into foot soldiers when they don't know the general but obey his orders? Is it out of fear or what? If you can answer, answer. All right, so I'm going to answer. And so, like, I guess straight off I'm going to say that, like, so when it comes to, like, clubs and, like, bike clubs and gangs and crews and all that sort of thing, right, so they all have some kind of vetting period. So, you know, like, say, for instance, with bikies you become a friend of the bikies and then you become a hangaround um, and then you become a norm or a prospect um, and then you become a probationary member um, and then uh, like a, you become so you know a pro probationary member means that like say for instance with the bikies you've only got the bottom rocker which shows you know where you're from or whatever and then you become a member you get your patch but you are a a you are a prospective member so you 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 are on kind of like probation for the first you know year or so when you get your patch and it's the same with the gang so they all have this period for a reason and it's to see if you have got what it takes to become one of them so like with the POWs and and other other gangs like that so there are many many foot soldiers that that aren't you know members of the gang and like so I'm gonna like keep the POWs out of this example because most other prison gangs other than the POWs use foot soldiers for most of their work where the POWs are a bit different they do most of their work their self and and so they also do all of their work at the same time so if you've got a problem with one of the POWs you have got a problem with all the POWs and they are gonna and they are gonna like take you out and um, don't get me wrong they do have one-on-one -on -one fights but generally if you fall out with the POWs you are going to get stabbed by every single one of them they are not going to use their fists they are going to use weapons and a lot of them sticky tape them to their hands like they go pretty serious you know but you know the the what what they will do is they will get these people and and make them think that they were going to come a gang member or a club member and and therefore these people are going to do whatever they can to try and make that happen you know um is it out of fear or whatnot so i would say the reason why most people would join like gangs in prison um would be out of fear to some sort of degree you know so um like are they they might be scared that they're gonna get you know they have a problem with somebody else or another crew or whatever and therefore a lot of people if they've got a problem with one crew will try and associate with the other crews that they are warring with you know to kind of get some kind of backup or whatnot but i would say for the most part that the reason that most young people and whatnot join prison gangs is is out of fear and not that they're scared like that um you know that they might get taken out but just the thought of doing it alone in prison is very daunting for some people and um you know the end of that question he says what why do they do all these things for the general when they don't even know their general well here's the thing you know um also with prison gangs as well you know you kind of they're kind of the ones that have always got the drugs they've always got you know cash and things like that so it's pretty like you know they've always got the mad shoes and although you're only allowed to have like black pair of shorts and a 
white t-shirt they've always got the best clothes and that too and you know i guess that 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 you know along with the the thought of having you know another 10 or 15 people standing beside you when you go to war is 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 a pretty pretty good like um as you can tell i am not the best with my words so it um you know it is very very um it makes them want that you know and um so you know seeing the the older gang members and that wearing all the nice shoes all the time and all the the mad like prison clothes um that inspires the 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 younger generation to want to be like that and then also having the protection of like i said 10 15 blokes standing beside you when you go to war it is it that is very very enticing you know um and you know the younger people is definitely definitely out of fear but i think you know when the older people join the prison gangs i think they've just had enough and they just have given up on you know oh i might be getting out in a couple of years i don't want to get in any trouble you know i think i think that people just give up and don't want to don't want to um deal with the bullshit that goes on in prison every day you know um and with the bike clubs and stuff like that it's very similar the same thing you know so you know the younger generation the young men see see these guys riding around on nice bikes got a nice girl on the back got a pocket full of money which is not always the case let me tell you that not all bikies are rich there are some very poor bikies out there let me tell you that right now not all bikies um you know as this is going to make people say bullshit but not all bikies do illegal stuff and i think the news and the media have made people think that all bikies are gangsters or you know gang members that that do crime and that's not true there are still some members out there that are hanging on to the hope of brotherhood you know and um although that is you know rapidly dwindling out of control but you know that that's what it is but um you know these these young people it's the same with the bike clubs that it is with the prison gangs you know these these people don't know um well of course they would know the members but they don't know you know what i mean they don't know any of the the goings on what happens on the inside of a bike club they're on the outside looking in and they will still do anything and and this is what it is like so this is how they get people to do things because all they want is that patch so bad so they will literally do anything to get it and you know the members and that know that and so they use noms and and prospects and hangarounds to do a lot of their business now i'm talking about bikies now not prison gangs and they you know they use a lot of these people that aren't members to do a lot of their crime so therefore when it comes back it doesn't come back on the club because you aren't a member um even though the news will say if you hang around with a bike club and you've got a motorbike then you are obviously a bikey when that is not the truth you know the media really really trump things up and but you know I think that that's 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 the main thing you know and that's the difference between bike clubs and prison gangs you know um people want to join bike clubs out of excitement and most people join prison gangs out of some sort of deep-seated fear that they have whether it be from a person or the prison itself and um you know i think that's sad because you know i think it's sad that these young fellas think that they have to do that like join a gang you know grab a shank go and stab people for their gang to get through their prison but here's the thing right so if you become and it's the same with bike clubs and gangs so what people don't realize is when you become a member of a certain organization whether it be a gang or a club you automatically automatically have thousands and thousands of enemies off the bat so like you know if you're a bike club in a bike club and you join a club a club is warring with this club you automatically have 
they are now your enemies, you know, and then all their friends are now your enemies. And some of these bike clubs, wars, are bash or shoot on site, you know, so you've got to do something if you see one of these people. And if you don't do something, you will have something done to you. And it's as simple as that. And, um, you know, I think that, that that's the difference between the clubs and the gangs. You know, people join the bike clubs out of excitement and people join the prison gangs out of some kind of fear. Um, now, I, I can't tell you why each and all these people um, want to do these things and why they do all these things for the general when they don't even know him. But, you know, I would say it comes down to fear and why do they do it? Well, they just want it. They will do whatever it takes to have that kind of brotherhood and protection in prison, you know. Um, and, and I think it sucks that, you know, like I just said, that, that a young fella can't go from, you know, the start of his sentence to the end of his sentence without any bullshit. It's a very, very hard thing to do these days, you know, and I think it's, it's shit that, you know, a young person thinks that he has to join a, a gang to stay safe. And I, I think it's absolutely bullshit and um, I don't agree with it. But, um, yeah, there you go. There's the answer to that question. I probably um, dragged it out a little bit more than I needed to, but I really wanted to make my point um, that, you know, there is a big difference between bike clubs and gangs. But essentially, you know, they all operate on the same kind of thing. So, you know, they are very similar. But um, there you go, guys. If you do not want to go to prison, stay away from drugs and crime. Otherwise, you will end up there and you don't know. You might have a club or a, or a gang asking you to join and then next thing you know, you're running around with a big, big shank sandwich in your hand um, hooking people up with that sandwich. And, you know, most people that give people shank sandwiches in prison end up with more time and it ain't worth it. Drugs, jail and crime is, is not worth it anyway, you know, and I think it's taking people longer to see it these days, but I think people are starting to see that, you know, especially with ICE, I think the pandemic is, is slowly dying off, although it's up there, but I think people are starting to see that they're losing their minds and whatnot. I've noticed it in the community that there's not so many um and i live in country victoria so it's pretty bad and I, I have noticed that you know the zombies aren't as bad these days and um but yeah all right i'm going on again i've been the chaos chronicles we out also guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button for me hit that bell that way you'll never miss any of my clips and um i will see you guys in the next video also if you chuck a comment there anything relating to drugs jail crime clubs gangs anything like that i'll do my best to answer it with a video Cast i'm also the yeah. guy decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not